What is up YouTube? This is Big Belly Birdie Plays Games and welcome to The Surge 2. Now some of you all are thinking, why did you skip The Surge 1? I didn't skip The Surge 1, I just didn't want to play it because it's not my kind of game. The reason why I skipped Surge 1 and go to Surge 2 is because I'm a CAC kind of guy. Now basically in gamers terms CAC means create a character or customize the character whatever you want to call it now just to let you know I have played the search 2 and um, I've decided to go clean so I might as well go to new game and start anew what if machines were pure a basic universal concept without morals or destiny. Yet because they are created by humans, inheriting all their countless imperfections, how could machines ever be better than us? Would they not, by design, follow the path of their creators and, in the end, fail? God, what is this? It's coming right at us. Are you basic maneuvers? Take your basic maneuvers! Oh dear. Oh my god. Please brace for impact. I forgot to tell you that I have the music and the effects a little bit down. I'm thinking about turning them a little bit back up. Well, all things aside, welcome to Jericho City. And the walls come tumbling down. Title card, The Surge 2. If you're hearing uh, any other sounds other than me in the game, I'm sorry, there's a lot of, there's a lot of noise outside. And I'm inside behind these four walls. <clears throat> Please excuse me, I just ate some breakfast today. Okay, for our created character, we got a Mining Wars veteran. Suppressing a worker's revolt on a lunar colony has left this mark on you. Having been exposed to toxic substances and suffering from PTSD, or post-traumatic stress syndrome, a taxpayer, uh, a taxpayer funded first class flight to Jericho City's redeployment center was the least they could do for you. Earth has you back. Second up is search and rescue officer. Despite a world in turmoil, first aid companies like yours can still fail, especially after the public private AID response was created to take over. Luckily, they are looking for capable staff and sponsored your first class flight to a job interview in Jericho City. Third, a Creo certified heavy operator. Being a human forklift has its limits in terms of career opportunities, and after losing all your savings in three lawsuits against the company, yikes, you've finally been granted a Creo paid first class flight to begin your new life. A new job will be waiting for you. You fought hard to get it. Indeed, I have. Let's go to the Creo Certified Field Technician. Repairing robots day in and day out ensure the safe job as a hardware and software expert. That is, until an advanced AI protocol made your position redundant. Luckily for you, Creo sponsored a first class flight to Jericho to help a loyal ex worker to find a new assignment. Lucky me. I guess. Number five, former armed smuggler. There was only one way to break the vicious cycle that had become your life. Spending all the money you set aside over the years for this one ticket to bring you to the other end of the world where you hope that the grass is greener. Or at least that there will be a grass at all. And last but not least, corporate middle manager. Society might change, but somebody always needs to run the numbers and keep the board happy. 
Jobs are rare. So once again, you didn't dare to complain even after you were relocated to Jericho City from the other end of the world without much more than a day's notice. At least it's a first class flight, right? So to tell you the truth, I'm going to choose the search and rescue officer. Choose a hair. Now I don't have this kind of hair, but I'm going to go with the car rolls. Uh, yeah, straight up black, I know. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, facial hair. I forgot about facial hair. Uh, yeah, might as well go with this one. Yeah, I'm straight up black. Y'all should know that by now. Okay. I think the cheek structure and chin shape is good. Let's go for the fullness. I'm straight up big and burly, so yeah. <laughs> now for the eyes. I think these are good. Go for the gray ones, the black ones right here. Okay, now for the eyebrows, go here. Straight up black. Okay. Actually, I like the second one's better. Third one. Mm. Yeah, third one. Let's go for the third one. Now for the nose. Do, 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 Let's see. Yeah, let's go back here. Ears. Let's have them like this, the first one. Now fit search and rescue, of course. So now we're going to hold to confirm. And there we go. We got me as a created character. Two months later. Medical report TS1. Our new patient has been in a semi delirious state for weeks. The subject seems to be reliving traumatic memories of Flight 221. A girl, and some sort of anomaly. It's not over. But this can't be true. There was only one survivor in the crash. gonna kill me. Oh god, my head. What the? Okay, I'm gonna do one thing that, that I was supposed to do. Go to options, go to audio, see what I got these. I'm gonna put them up here. little bit right there. That should work. Okay, let's continue. That should be enough, I hope. We got the key card medical staff. This is Warden Garcia. We've located a major security breach. All prisoners stay in their cells. Robot guards have been deployed. Technically, I don't have a cell, so I'm good. R3 to talk a lot of lot. Okay. Medical report number TS2. The patient you brought me some weeks ago is still in coma. Cannot determine if he's infected. Sirs, I am just level one doctor in a police detention facility. But I do not recommend transport, not yet. Holy What the What was that? Oh dear. Ah! Always do it too early or too late. Let's see what you got. Yeah, you got nothing. Get lost, scumbag. What did I do to you? Ow! Hey! Let's do this. I'm healing. Fresh meat! Who are you calling fresh meat? I mean, I mean, come on, I do look fresh, but I'm just not that kind of guy. You! Hmm? Please, you gotta let me out. I'm not a criminal, just an average Joe. Hang on, dude, I got you. 
Or I don't got you. Yeah, I'm not strong enough to open this door. I'm too weak. Thanks a lot, Sir Stu. Hang on for one second. There's something I want to get uh, over here. Okay, we got a small pile of metal scrap. Now, these scraps that we are collecting are called tech scraps. We could use these to... Well, we could collect these and use them to... Um, upgrade our weapons, upgrade our gears. So, basically, yeah. This is, bas this is basically... Um, like, uh, futuristic Dark Souls. Uh-oh. Think you can mess with me? I'll kill you dead. Just like those damn cops. Can you really? Uh oh. Fudge. Try it again. There we go. Gotcha. Thank you, Officer Johnson. Officer's card. Found Medbay unlocked. Hello, Medbay. Welcome, Officer Johnson. New Medbay unlocked. This Medbay service is now available to you. Rig installation in progress. Okay, install the rig in me. Oh, wait a minute. I should have thought. Okay, okay. Ah! Okay, the power core module. Use tech scrap to level up and get module points for distribution among the following stats. More health lets you survive more hits. More stamina lets you perform more actions before it has to regenerate. Each battery lets you either cut limbs from enemies or use injection implants. Higher battery efficiency makes ejections stronger. For example, you get more health back per injection shot. You can switch the gear UI directly from using the touchpad. Okay, close this. Use the triangle button to bank the tech scrap and assemble the, uh, assemble the metal scrap inside the tech scrap. So we can, uh, yeah, basically do that. We could use the touch button to go to gear. The R analog stick, the right analog stick, you can switch loadouts. You just switch to another loadout. Loadouts store your setup for equipped gear and implants. Use the right analog stick to cycle through your loadouts. So basically, that's what I just did. And here are some implants. Implants are special items that can be put into corresponding implant slots of your rig. Each implant consumes a portion of your total core power and grant special effects or new abilities. Injectable implants may also be upgraded using materials gathered from defeated enemies, typically by cutting off helmets. Upgrading implants increases the number of precharges that can be stored and many even and may even unlock some precharges to be applied when visiting the med bay. Implants can be equipped and unequipped any time in the field. You don't need to visit a med bay to do so. Okay, I see. I see where this is going. Switch loadouts as, as well on that. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go back to the med bay. You already know the power core module, so I'm going to level myself up just one time. Shoot. Put my stamina up. Rig installation complete. Feels good. Spend batteries built up in combat to pre-charge healing charges by pressing the circle button while being at full health. Holding the circle button allows you to do that even while not being at full health. Cool. Like that. You are now eligible to redeem your customized MG Exo Rig Mark 12. Surgery is a thing of the past. The new MG is faster, more powerful, and sleeker than ever. Once you strap it on, it'll meld with your molecules in a flash. The metamorphosis is so seamless, you'll neither know nor care which functions are still performed by your own body. Let MG take control of your nervous system and take back control of your life. Well, Have a nice day, control. officer. Thank you, Medbay. Uh-oh. Nope. 
Thank you. And once again, I'm a search and rescue guy. Oh, uh -huh. what did I just push? I just got myself a salvage gouger. A spear. Uh, it's in the spear class. So, basically, in quarantine Jericho City, there is often a need to improvise weaponry. And ideal materials are not always available. This spear is made out of salvaged metals and plastics. But this doesn't matter so much when it pierces an enemy with the sharp silicone spear tip. So it has 79 damage, 9 impact, 105% attack speed, 25% plus energy gain, and 85% stamina consumption. I like the damage, so I'm going to choose the salvage goucher. Okay. Since I got the rig on, I can open these doors. Ah, hello. Did you find the rig to get me out? Yes, I did, Benjamin Burke. And I got the equalizer. Hold on for one second. Excuse me, one second. Okay, damage 80, impact 24, attack speed 95. Energy gain, 70% plus, and 135% stamina consumption. My goodness. It's a heavy duty, yes. The product of an unhealthy obsession with revenge, this blunt weapon reflects its creator's single-minded purpose. The heavy pneumatic strut that forms its core must have been assembled from a great deal of repurposed scrap. Yow. As much as I like the damage, I'm not very good with the stamina consumption yet. So I'm going to stick with the gouger. Shit. Thank you. I was beginning to lose hope. Well, here's some more hope. I'd for love you. to repay you, but as you might guess, I'm a bit broke right now. I hope I'll see you again. Ben Burke never leaves a debt unpaid. I hear you. So where are you heading now? I heard there's an evacuation camp in the city. Gateway Bravo or something. Gonna try my luck there. I always wanted to be a search and rescue guy. Maybe we'll see each other around. Well, we will. But how did you end up in detention anyway? You heard about Creo, right? Yeah. Well, I was there. Damn government dudes came. Thought I was finally safe. But they wouldn't let me go. Even after I told them all about what happened. What happened at Creo? Something like a power surge went through the whole system. Melted circuits and brains alike. And the whole damn factory tore itself apart. I lost my whole team in there. Even Smithy. But this time, I swear I'll keep people safe. My condolences. So, are you okay? No, damn it, I'm not okay. Haven't been okay in weeks. People are killing each other for scraps out there. It's complete anarchy. I can only pray we make it out in one piece. But even if we do, I have no idea what's waiting for us. Well, thanks for the small talk. Take care. Come to the evac camp. I'll be there. Oh, trust me. I'll be there as well. And thank you for the key card. Even though it's all scrumped up. So I have to meet Benjamin at the evacuation camp. Ah, and he threw it at long range. I guess he was a great baseball player. Oh, unlike this guy, he just missed. Let me heal first. Thank you. Health replenished. Open this door. And get that message over here. Hey, it's me. Uh, yeah. The number gave it away. Heard they offered you the job. <sighs> Sorry. I wanted to tell you at the right time. <sighs> the right time? Open your eyes, Garcia. There's never gonna be a right time. Has been cut off for almost as long. It's, it's not gonna change anything between... I know, that's not... Not what this is about, okay? Just take care, okay? 
This thing is dangerous. I'm sorry. So am I. We'll talk, okay? Things unsaid. Nobody gets out on my watch. Stay back! Ah, oh, come on, Warden. We just gotta get out of here. Okay, here's a directional block analyzer. Let's see what we can do with this. So, the directional block analyzer is a booster. It displays the directions in which you can directionally block incoming attacks. I like that. Really, I do. Okay, put this open. Evidence form. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was uh, I was used to the um, to the directional pads. I'm so sorry. That was stupid of me. Oh my God, what is that? It's coming right at us. Are you basic maneuvers? Take you basic maneuvers. Shit. Yeesh. Creo flight two two one evidence. Hello, fighter. Now that's better. Thank you for the tungsten alloy. Now it's your turn. Come here. Come here. Ah, oh, man. Too late. Or too early. Okay, I got three Mark I's tungsten alloy. And a small pile of metal scrap. So this might help me out a little. Go back to the security hallway. Okay. Dissemble metal scrap. Bank tech scrap. And now for upgrading. Components gained by cutting the limbs of your enemies can be used for upgrades. Cut armored body parts to acquire components for crafting and update, uh, upgrading gear. Cut arms wielding, yeah, cut arms wielding weapons to acquire components for upgrading weapons. Cut body parts for robotic enemies, of robotic enemies, and heads of humanoid enemies to acquire components for upgrading implants. Higher level components can be broken down to lower levels using the one to one to two ratio. Nice. Okay, a medi, yeah, medi vault. A volta uh, voltaic inject uh, voltaic injection. I'm sorry if I butchered that incompletely. An injectable that uses one battery to restore health. Dr. Gene Barrett, one of Creo's leading research scientists, discovered that by mimicking intrac uh, intracellular uh, intracellular elect uh, electrical activity. A spontaneous healing process could be triggered in epithelial and muscle uh, and muscular tissues. Only a short time later, mass production of the earliest medi voltaic circuits had begun. I'm sorry if I wrote that. I'm sorry if I read that too much. I mean, I even read the HL1 defibrillators. Damage 64, 12 impact. 100% the attack speed and 80% stamina consumption. No longer connected to a power source, these defibrillator pads still make decent improvised punching weapons. Their high conductivity metal surfaces protect the hands and allow the wielder to deliver painful blows. These are twin rigged, so yeah. I'm gonna upgrade the salvage gouger to Mark 1, and it's been upgraded. So go back to the core module, update that, and use that on the health. So I'm at two two zero. The lockdown has lasted for almost two months. Of course it has. Oh wait a minute, I forgot. Empty INF Labs class uh, chassis. A one-handed weapon. 78 impact. I mean, 78 damage. 17 impact. 100% attack speed. 35% energy gain. And stamina consumption is 90%. Oof, it's going up, isn't it? So I'm going to stick with the gouger. The clock to evacuate one district after another. 
Let's start this over again, shall we? Back to the secret hallway. Take this sucker out. Okay. Thank you for the tungsten. Hey, sweetheart. Thank you. Okay. There's three of them. Nope. Thank you so much for your tungsten alloy. Oh my god, what's happening here? What is that thing? Whoever that is, they just sent me a small pile of tech scrap. So I'm gonna open this. Get my shortcuts back to the med bay. Attention nice. all prisoners. This facility okay, is now under I got a whole extra sprint. Your safety cannot be guaranteed. I've been track star. Okay. Automatic eject charger, okay. Automatically consume a battery to pre-charge the correctly selected injectable implant right before it would run out. Okay. What's happening here? There's that monster again. Where? Jesus. You're gonna regret this. Now he's gonna have to fight me. Ah oh, man. That dodge didn't do me much good. There we go. Ooh. Nice evasive maneuver. Ooh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. Come at me, Garcia. Ah, fudge! You missed, didn't you? Ooh. Ooh. Nope. That's not gonna fly. That will. Thank you! Whoa! No, you don't. Oh, fudge. You caught me. Whoa, wow, boy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fudge. That's not going to work. That's not going to fly. Oh no, oh no. There we go. Mm. Yeah, I'm way over here, Doc. There we go. Give me that, give me that, give me that! Thank you! Warden Garcia, offline. Hold on. MG Jackknife Pro, a single rig, 82 damage, 28 impact, 95% attack speed, plus 100% energy gain, and 110% stamina consumption. Again, I like I like the weapon, but I'm, I'm sticking with the Goucher at least for now until I get my stamina up. A heavier duty version of the MG Jackknife. In the Pro model, MG is included overpressure pneumatics and a deflective case shell. It is especially suited to close quarters combat with rig equipped enemy combatants. Okay, I like that. I'll stick with the gouger at least for now until I get my stamina up, up and running. Owner killed in action. Assigning drone to nearby police exo rig. Come to me, combat drone. Thank you. All right. Let's 
to go. Excuse me, can I get my toy, please? Oh, right. Sorry. I'm Athena. Athena Gutenberg. Athena Gutenberg. Why does that name sound familiar? Here's a girl's toy. Can you hear me? Hmm? Go to Port Nixon. Find the plane. Port Nixon. How can I get to Port Nixon? I don't even know where Port Nixon is. Oh yeah, I forgot about Omni cells. Let's uh, let's pause this and go to this one. What we have here is a R1 diode laser pistol or a laser pistol, a drone a drone module. Damage forty. Om Omni cell consumption one. Stash ammo fourteen. Consumes one Omni cell. Fires a fast beam of focused energy. Okay, okay. And we have a search and rescue drone. Hmm, what's that do? It consumes all tech scrap and transports you back to safety. I like to transport back to safety, but I do not want you to consume all my tech scrap, so I'm going to stick with the laser pistol. Thank you very much. Okay, that's a lot of Omni cells. Got another battery consumer. And what's down here? We got a small pile of metal scrap. Okay, we got two of them. Hello! Oh, hello! Can you hear me? My name is Brother Truman. I'm waiting outside. Okay. Take care of those guys, and I'll turn on the lift. You got it. That's one. Well Ooh. done. The lift should work again. Nice. All right. Thank you, Brother Truman. Okay, we're going to stop right here for now, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you saw, let me know in the comments below. If you don't like what you saw, please let me know in the comments below. So, thank you guys for joining me once again. And this is Big Belly Birdie Plays Game saying, God bless, be blessed. And keep your eye on the birdie. Big Belly Birdie, that is. Peace.